So today we are off on a very chilly hike. Brr. <laughs> it's so cold, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh. Feels like minus eight, apparently. Not right now, but up there. So we have layers upon our layers. Ooh. We certainly do, as you can tell by what I'm wearing on my head. To my toe. So, we are currently at Glenfinnan, heading up to the viaduct to follow the trail towards Corry Holly Bothy, which is well known as the Electric Bothy in Scotland. So, excited to pay that a little visit. And then, going to follow the stalker's path up towards some of the hills in theory and see what happens in theory that's the plan <laughs> yeah so we'll see you in a bit Seen a few of those now, haven't we? Do you know how much it cost? No. 18,904 pounds. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You ready? I don't know why. And again. I fell down! <laughs> Very good. <laughs> so it cost 18,904 pounds. Did you know this? Did it? In what year was that? 18. Ooh, 97?
Okay, I should try to get in. There's lights, there's windows. Hello. Hello. I would say good afternoon, but I don't think it is quite afternoon. However... 12.05. Oh, there we go. Good mm. afternoon. Mm. Yeah. Welcome to lunch at Corrie Holly Buffy. Today's menu, we have a mixed bean chilli. That's it to film it back to front. I feel like we're getting dripped on now. <clears throat> So the frost has just decided it's going to start melting off the roof. We thought we'd sit in the sunshine. <laughs> well, it's not oh, sunshine, but yeah. <laughs> it was warmer out here than it was at the Buffy. Plus, we're looking for deer. No, no sightings yet. So we'll carry on eating. Ooh. Hi. Oh, is it? Good that fireball up there, isn't it? Unreal. Mm. I believe it. I'm still waiting for the UK Media Association to approve the report that we made. Yeah. Yeah. We well, should do because there's quite a number of other sightings reported. Mm. So that was the 30th of November 2023 at 5.30pm. I don't know what the odds, we just sat there in the hot tub, both looking in the same direction. Mm. It just, it just happened. Yeah. Mm. I don't think I've ever seen a meteorite before. Meteor. Meteor. Meteorite is if it actually lands. Oh, no. okay. Mm. Yeah, I don't think it did land, it didn't look like it did, did it? It looked like it burnt up. Mm. Fragmented. Talking of silhouettes, let's try and zoom. That one. And then we're off up another track. 
Oh dear, what do we have here? It's a good one, Safi. Oh. So we found some footprints. Let's go. Dear gate down there. Oh, you know what I mean. <laughs> So it's one o'clock. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna make it up to the top of Skur Utha in an hour. And we've worked out the timings. We would need to be back down by the Bothy by half three at the latest to get back to the van for half four. Cause it's like a three mile walk. So if we pan round, which one is it we're meant to be going up? The far... The one with the oh, light on it. it? It's kind of up the hill, obviously like to the far... It's my left, so right, is it? On the camera? Has it got the light on it or not? No, it's just it's opposite. Side. Right, okay. Just the left? Left, yeah. Hmm. My left. And that's probably a false summit there, so... So yeah. at some point we need to decide to turn back. So I think we follow the stalker's trail as long as we can, and then see what's popping. That's where we're up to. Very good. Yes! <laughs> as long as we don't need to know our left and right. <laughs> <laughs> We've just been watching. A whole herd of deer travel up. There's how many would you say? Some are still going up in the centre of the shot right now. You can see them moving across. Just there in the centre of the screen. And now in the centre of the screen, you can see the silhouettes on the rock. Oh. Isn't that cool? So this is the end of the road for us. I'm not going to make it up there. Gemma's now looking at rocks. <laughs> so we're definitely not getting very far now. I was fascinated by this one actually. Doesn't look that much. So shiny. Gemma, mm. oh. what's the plan now? What are you trying to do, Gemma? You want to get that stone? The bit. It's a mirror off it, though. <laughs> it's a mirror. Right. There she goes.
Okay, so we are 4.25 miles in. This is the end of the road. Gemma here is eroding the path, trying to get a stone out. It is rock hard though. That's the view that we've been walking towards. This here behind me is where we we're meant to be climbing. Do we know what this is, peeps? Oh, I've lost them through my finger. They're oh. like little flakes. Like you've got dirty hands now. What are they? Mm. Look like fish scales. They're on the edge of the rock. So if you know what they are, add it to the comments. Okay, so we're gonna have a make our way back. Snow white in the seven. Ooh, Digging for my gold. <laughs> I hope. So that's us done. See yeah. you later. Bye. Press the button. Oh, me? I was just like going to sleep by you because I'm tired. Cup of tea time. Oh, wow. I nearly fell over then. There's one on the left of the shot here. Just about to cross the river. And the other one is just on the right hand side of the shot that made it across the river as we were just approaching. Not moving, are they?
so come join us today on a epic adventure into the mountains in the Ben Nevis range. She's looking at herself. See ya. See ya. This is the quickest summit that we've ever made. <laughs> and we cheated. Craig Dub uh, at seven four eight meters above sea level. And yeah, we got the Glen Co chair lift up, which is quite exciting. It's minus six, so we wouldn't have been able to do it without the help of the chair lift. <laughs> yeah. And Safi's backpack. Safi's here. And the crampons are out. They are. So we're all kitted up. We've got a flask of hot tea yeah. in the backpack. And the sun is shining. Yeah. All around us. Jordan playing, having fun. So we made it. We made it, almost. <laughs> so what we didn't say at the start of this was, we tried the Ben Nevis gondola, mm. got there, asked the people in reception, 
How do we get on it? Oh, no, sorry, it's closed for the next... Maintenance. ...couple of months or something. Couple of weeks. <sighs> so we were like, right, okay, what's our plan B? We're heading to Glencoe anyway. Mm. And then oh, we yeah. found this one. Yeah. Which is, what? what's it called? Uh, the Glencoe Chairlift. Hmm. So, yeah, what do you think? Out of ten? Ten. Ten out of ten has been oh, good, hasn't it? it? Yeah. Oh, actually, no, let's go for nine because... The cafe at the bottom isn't dog friendly, so yeah. you know we would like if we would have liked to have gone for a nice hot chocolate or something to get us warm at the bottom yeah. of this, but we can't. Yeah. Luckily, we've got the camper van, so and we've got plenty of flasks, so we can make ourselves a hot drink. But it would have been nice to enjoy um, the facilities here in full. Yeah. And also, we nearly didn't make it to the car park because of the icy mm. little lane. So this doesn't seem to be a grit situation here in Scotland, despite it being yeah. minus minus six. Yeah, haven't seen any grit on the roads. Um, which, if we were in Wales or England, there would be grit is out every fifteen minutes, wouldn't there? And it's yeah. just this just not it doesn't seem to be a thing here. So really good. Check it love out, it. guys. Love it. Love it. Yeah.
so good morning so we slept in the camper van made it through a very chilly night there is ice on the inside of the windows when we went to sleep it was minus 5.5 degrees celsius Oh, shows. Okay, there's one degree in here. And there's Sophie. Oh, she was in my sleeping bag for half the night, weren't you? Oh, you lucky girl. So your drawing rephrased this morning, unless you've. How cold? Freezing. Hello. 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 All right, we obviously need a better position. <laughs> unless, unless everyone else is happy with that. Hello. How's this? Much better. Can you see us? Yeah. Let me just hide my double chin. Let me just find mine. Oh. <laughs> okay, so it's been raining. Yeah. And pouring. And the old man is snoring. So we are now in the Lake District. We are. We're near Ellswater? Well, not far from Ellswater. We've just turned off from Penrith. We're heading into the Lake District National Park and we're going to find a, a stop to pitch up and hope that the weather passes. Yeah, it should do. Weather report looks clear yeah. tomorrow. So hopefully we found a nice, quiet, um, camp spot and then we'll get going somewhere in the morning, sunrise. <laughs> 